time to give thanks to football's best rivalry because today we got pigskin in its purest form. It's old time football between the Redskins and Cowboys. Only on the NFL on Fox. This bad boy goes way back. So does the animosity. The memories, they're nothing less than legendary. chapter unfolds in football's greatest grudge match. Hey, this isn't a game. This is a brouhaha. Let's get it on. Now, live from the Fox Television Center in Hollywood, four guys who know all about hostile encounters, it's a special Thanksgiving with the one and only NFL on Fox. As we enter week number 14 on the NFL schedule, we hope today finds you surrounded by family and friends on this Thanksgiving day. And with your plates filled with traditional fare, we're glad you're tuned to Fox where today. We have an outstanding matchup to fill your appetite for football. The Redskins battling the Cowboys in Texas. And hello again, everyone. I'm James Brown welcoming you to this NFL on Fox Thanksgiving Day special. My foul, my friends, you know, you, you, foul, no, foul, you know what I was about to say, my foul friends we who have been foul. called turkeys at some point in time. Ronnie Howie and Terry, we'll start with Ronnie. Hey, keep the turkey warm, Mom. I love you. Can't wait to get there. No hot dogs here. Di and the boys are cooking up a storm right now, but up in Charlestown, Massachusetts, and Edie's cooking up that ravioli. Eating it today, the Mullen clan on Chapel Street. I'm jealous. Oh, yeah. man. Hey, everybody in America, this is a great day. I can't wait to get home to Westlake, Texas. Charlotte, Rachel, Aaron, and Mama, novice, Genoa. Genoa. She Absolutely. hates me when I say that. My Happy mother. Thanksgiving Day to everybody. My mother's taking a day off from cooking, allowing my brother Terrence to cook. That's why they're going to McDonald's before they eat. You oh, need to oh, lighten up on your cooking. Oh, look at it. Listen to <laughs> We'd like to say welcome to those of you who've been watching Detroit and Kansas City. Kansas City won at 28-24. We'll have more on that game in just a bit. But our game, today's game, is a battle between the top two teams in the NFC East. But a closer look down the division standings, take a look, reveals just how tight things are. Four teams are at or above the 500 mark, and not only does every team in the division have a shot at making the playoffs, but every team but the Giants still can win the division. All right, folks, time now for our Fox Watch, and for that, we send you down to Irving, Texas. You know, lately it seems that so many big games have indeed taken place in Texas Stadium, and today is no exception. And who better to call the action in a big game than our own Pat Summerall. Happy Thanksgiving, Pat. Thank you, JB, and the same to you. And big games, big stories. The story here all week long has been Emmett Smith. And Pam Oliver's here with us. She had a chance to talk to Emmett as he arrived at the stadium this morning. And Pat, Emmett arrived about three hours ago, still very unclear about whether he'll be able to go today. He told me that that ankle is still pretty inflamed. And because he wasn't able to practice this week, he's not sure if he'll be able to make his cuts or even change directions. Emmett told me it will be his decision whether or not he will play or start today, although team doctors would really rather that he take a week off and give himself a chance to rest. On another matter, Emmett was so undone about being benched last week that a couple of his close friends on the team had to actually give him a pep talk to try to lift his spirit. But regardless of that, look for Sherman Williams to go early and often. If Emmett comes out of the gate, the least bit slowly because the Cowboys desperately need to get something going with the running game. Only six teams are worse than Dallas at running the football right now. Let's go back up to Pat and John. And John had a conversation with Ernie Zampezi. 
And John, John Madden, of course, as a result of that conversation, what's your opinion? Well, you know, I was I was a little surprised that uh, Ernie Zampezi said that he thinks that Emmett Smith is going to play. He said he talked to him and he said if, if Emmett can play, he will play. And the Cowboys need Emmett Smith. I mean, he's a he's a real warrior. And like Ernie says, we're a running team. You know, we're not one of those passing teams like San Francisco and Green Bay that can throw every down. We can't do that. We have a big offensive line and we have to run and we have to run with Emmett Smith. That's the way this team is built. But what surprises me is I went to practice on Tuesday and Emmett Smith didn't practice. He didn't even come out on the field. I went to practice on Wednesday. We were there yesterday and he stayed in inside. He didn't come out. He didn't practice at all. He didn't watch any of the game plan. Now I just watched him in pregame warm up and he did very little. Now on one hand, Ernie says he's going to start and he's going to play. And Emmett Smith is a warrior. I mean, he's a tough guy. And the, the Cowboys are seven and five. They need everything. They need Emmett Smith today. They need a running game today. But if he can do it, he's going to be Superman. He's going to surprise me. That's our feeling from here at Texas Stadium that Emmett Smith will start and will play as long as he can. Back to you, JB. All right, Pat, thank you very much. So much talk about Emmett. Pam says he was undone being benched. John made the point, Howie, that this championship Dallas franchise has been built around the running game of Emmett Smith. What gives down there? Well, I agree with John that he is a warrior. Emmett Smith is a warrior. And playing against the Dallas Cowboys, the thing that makes the Dallas Cowboys go, that makes this machine go. Troy Aikman's a benefactor of it. Michael Irvin is Emmett Smith running between the tackles. This is not Barry Sanders. You don't get clean shots on Barry Sanders. Emmett Smith earns his yards. It's very difficult to do that when you're injured. He, it's taken a toll on him, obviously. Today, I don't think you'll see a lot of Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith has been challenged. I believe Emmett Smith will respond. He is a warrior. It might not be today, but it'll be next week or the following week. Yeah, you know, I agree, Howie. You don't miss two days of practice and come out and be a warrior on Thursday. It just doesn't happen. If you go back and, and look at everyone's career, especially running backs, when they go on a decline, it happens sometimes. You know, Earl Campbell of the Houston Oilers reminds me, he and Emmett are so much alike. Look at these, look at these comparisons right there in the first, uh, I think that's first 85 games. And it starts going down. After that 4.4 and that 4.5 average, you see both of them in their sixth, seventh and eighth year average 3.7 this offense for the dallas cowboys is built around emmett smith because number one he controls the clock number two he scores in the fourth quarter their passing offense is what needs to be picked up not emmett i think emmett is fine maybe not 1600 yards rushing anymore but i th I, don't, I definitely don't think that they are going to win this game running they've got to throw the football well, when you have a knee strain a, a, a elbow strain both ankles ribs ego strain everything i mean you look at the situation emma smith yes he's a warrior but when you get beat up like he's been beat up it's just like mike tyson after 15 rounds of going against a vander holyfield you start to wear down and i think right now he's where he's really worn down wow looking at those numbers kind of like an actuarial chart then huh he's starting yeah. to head down well actuarial is a uh, how you say that again actuarial yeah that's big we use that a lot in the horse and cattle business why do you do that huh i'm just giving you went to harvard no i was giving an example anyway i guess i better actually I move along follow it. time for us to step aside but there's plenty more ahead including a closer look at redskins linebacker ken harvey under the spotlight of several big games this season ken harvey has shown he's a big time player sometimes you say okay big games bring out the best in you but then I always kind of feel like if big games bring out the best in you, then you're cheating all the other games. It's good! I think I watch football a little differently than a lot of people. I see a player take a hit and stay in the game. I think, yeah, we help people stay in the game, too, when they get rocked by something unexpected, an illness, an injury, by filling the gaps their other insurance doesn't cover, Aflac can help keep things going. Pretty solid defense. P.S. The Aflac trivia questions? Sorry, I don't write them, and I hardly get them either. If it's hard finding the right gift for your children this holiday season, don't worry. Radio Shack has the gifts that'll grab your kid's attention. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. If you let me help. 
two nearly identical Porsche 911s. One destined for... Special is brought to you by Aflac, insuring over 40 million people worldwide. By 1-800-COLLECT, the way we call Collect today. By Cotton Incorporated, who wishes you and your family peace and joy in the holiday season. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. And by Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. All right, in the NFL game today, Terry's got me all talking. Marcus Allen, big day. Big day looking to break Walter Payton's record of 110 touchdowns. He does it on that play, 111th right there. The score at this point was 14-7. to Detroit, now, Porsche, balls knocked loose and Matt scrambled the ball. Mike Wells recovers for the touchdown. Detroit up by a touchdown, 14-7. to Then with eight minutes to play, Kansas City drives. 69 yards, scores Marcus Allen, 112th clear, rushing as Kansas City beats the Detroit Lions 28-24. All right, we'll talk about a few other players like Troy Aikman entering the game as the NFC's fifth-rated passer. He's thrown for the second most yards in the conference. He's hoping to hook up with that guy, Michael Irvin, who despite missing the first five games, has posted some impressive numbers. For Washington, Gus Farad has been a picture of control. He's thrown just seven picks while totaling nearly 2,500 yards. And the guy he'll be looking for, Howie Long says he's a stud, Michael Westbrook. He has shown signs of brilliance as of late, and he's got an abundance of that indeed. Back with more in a moment. Hi, Tom Bodet for 1-800-4-MOTEL-6, our toll-free reservation number. Now, to remember it, think of that one as an I, then I ate, and those look like two eggs. Now, say you ate those eggs for your cousin Mo, then tell six people. There you have it. I ate two eggs for Mo, Tell Six. Works for me. Well, I'm Tom Bodet for Mo, Tell Six, and we'll leave the light on for you. There's excitement in the air. Soon, you can get a message and send a reply. Tomorrow, your pager will talk to you. Good luck, son. Motorola Flex technology is changing everything, providing speed and reliability. Flex, it's what makes Motorola the architects of a wireless world. Tomorrow only, sales is opening early with special savings from 8 to 10 a.m. Like this 4 dollars 2 carat tennis bracelet for just $3.99. You'll save an extra $100 at sales. It's tomorrow only, so hurry. It's back. The Goodyear Buy 3, Get 1 Free Sale. Right now, buy three selected Goodyear tires at regular price. And the fourth tire is free. So call 1-800-GOODYEAR today and get on the line with your local retailer. Welcome back to Just Answer the Question, sponsored by Old Navy. Hi, I'm your host, John Davidson, with Joanne Worley, Hi. Magic, and Jamie Clark. And now, a word on great prices and perfect gifts from Old Navy. Old Navy gift certificates are the gift of choice in any denomination. For the grand prize, where does Santa land? Magic? Oh. Roof! Yeah! Oh. From all of us, happy holidays. For the nearest store, call 1-800-OLD-NAVY. It's not just a TV show, it's a phenomenon. Don't miss what everyone will be talking about Monday morning. The X-Files, Sunday. And welcome back to the Fox Television Center in Studio 7 here on Thanksgiving Day. Well, the Redskins employ a bend-but-don't-break defense, which literally and loosely translated means surrender plenty of yards but keep the opponent out of the end zone. Ken Harvey is the steadying force of this young and improving defense, which is allowing only two touchdowns per game. And things are going so well for the team, the two-time Pro Bowl linebacker may finally get his first shot at the playoffs in nine seasons. My whole life has been steps, and uh, I've been going in a direction. And, you know, you stagger, you zigzag, but I'm getting places. Let's go back to that first step. You actually went back. You took a step back because you dropped out of high school. Why? My reason was it wasn't because of drugs or girls or anything. It's just I was missing school. I, I, I looked back, and I was like, I had no direction. But then when I dropped out, you know, you go around, and you see people on the streets, and you're like, man, is this what I'm going to be like? My whole focus in life was to, was to show everybody that I wasn't stupid, show everybody that you weren't dumb, show everybody I was going to make it, and I had a purpose and I had a direction. So he went back to school to earn his degree, working his way through with jobs at a lumberyard and as a line cook. 
but it was his work in the weight room that would earn him a shot at college. My plan was I was going to work out every day. In my mind, I would always say I'm going to push myself, push myself harder than any coach, any person would ever push me. The theory was you give them more than they expect. If you're a, a guy coming out of nowhere and you go to a junior college, but all of a sudden you're like, man, this guy's big, man, this guy's strong. It's a little bit more than they expect, so they pay a little bit more attention to you. Harvey's theory paid off. First, it got him to an Oakland junior college, then to Cal Berkeley, where he was all Pac-10 as a senior. He was a first-round pick for the Cardinals in 1988 and left for Washington as a free agent six years later, where he earned two straight Pro Bowl appearances. Yet, it wasn't enough. His need to succeed would take him beyond the NFL. It would earn him a black belt in just six short months. Why the martial arts? It's, uh, it's hard work, it's dedication. You see, I mean, I know that they got to go through a whole lot of stuff to get to where they're at. And I'm like, that's something that I would like to do because I, I can understand that discipline and that dedication. In Hapkido, you do the punches and the kick, kicking, but you also use the uh, leverage. You know, you use the opponent's weight oh, against the aggressor them. coming at yeah, you? Yeah, and you use, you use stuff like that. So you can, when I'm pass rushing, if a guy's leaning on me a little bit more, boom, you use his weight. If somebody were to come at you high, what would you, you do? Take the leg and roll you it? Side okay. step. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. I like that. That's a good one. That boy's strong, too. Why did you go and sleep on the streets in college, and what did you learn? Why? Because, for one, I was, I was in San Francisco, missed my bus, didn't have a ride back. Two, I said, what the heck? I said, you know, I've always... You see all the homeless people, he's like, what would it be like? I mean, I'm sure people ask themselves sometimes about things. What would it be like? I'm sitting there, and I'm like 230 pounds. And it's like, I guess until you feel comfortable, I'm sitting there, and it's like every noise, I'm looking around, and I'm trying to find a place that's warm to sleep at, and I'm, I'm trying to find a place that's out the way, and I'm wondering if a policeman's going to come and, you know, kick me out or something like that. But I'm sitting up there, and I'm like, man, this is only one night, and I got a place to go home to. Imagine what it would be like every day, and imagine what it would be like with kids. With no intent to make this sappy, you really do have an awful lot to be thankful for. Yeah, I do. I mean, I've been up, I've been down, I've been, you know, sideways here and there, but I'm still going. So anything that's possible, you know, look at me, you know. And many thanks to feature producer Nancy Bernstein for putting that together. But, you know, Ken Harvey is a guy who truly appreciates where he is and certainly believes in a serious work ethic. But, Ronnie, while Ken Harvey, Terry Allen guys getting visibility down there, I mean, gosh, Gus Farratt has certainly been doing the job all season long at quarterback. That's true. He has been doing the job. He's got a lot of patience. He's got poise. He does a great job of spreading the ball around. You know what? A guy like this, what they call him in the locker room, they call him ice because they never melt under pressure. Yeah, I'll tell you, if, if they had won the coin flip last week, the only thing that beat them was losing the coin flip. They need to go to a college format, this overtime college format. If Washington <laughs> went to the college overtime format, they'd be what? They'd be challenging Denver right now for the best record in the NFL. That's Gus the Rock can score. They just can't stop him. They're all banged up on defense. It's going to be a tough challenge today. Emotion will be a big key in special teams. You get a lot of call-ins in this world to go to the big dance, and Washington has to pay attention to the call. Remember that story about the guy on top of the roof, and the water gets all the way up there? Flood. And he's about to drive the flood. Yeah, the <laughs> helicopter comes and drop the, deal, drop the ladder down. He says, no, go ahead. He said, God's going to save me. Later on, a boat comes coming by. The guy says, get in the boat with your fence. He said, no, God's going to save me. And then finally he drives and goes up to heaven. The heavens and God says, he said, God, he said, he said, I thought you was going to save me. He said, well, I sent a helicopter after you, and I sent a boat after you. Turn them up. You got to pay attention to when you get opportunity. Thank you over there. When you get it, when you get chances in life. Amen. And amen. Yeah, then I have an amen. amen. Playing wow. Dallas is the third chance for Washington to, to establish, as you always like to say, their authority They've been and taking, their respect. They have been taking steps all year. They've learned how to win close games. They've lost some close games. But every week they're getting better. This is another challenge for them. This will be another step for the Washington Redskins. Well, your brother Gary Bradshaw has heard all these stories over and over again. I heard that one. I just hey, made it up. No, no, you didn't. Keep in mind, Washington over the last eight years has split 16 games with Dallas, including a sweep last year. You like mm. that, Jay? You like mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Time for another break, but we've still got more to come. Emmett Smith, as you heard at the top of the show, has a sore ankle, as Pam and John Madden indicated. We'll try to give it a go. If not, it'll be Sherman Williams. We'll be back here with more of Terry's stories in a moment. Can I have a name? It's tough being a kicker. 
One week you're the hero, the next you're not. But win or lose, I always tell my grandma to call me 1-800-COLLECT. It's good to hear a voice, and it's good that she saves me up to 44%. Although sometimes, grandma needs a little reminder. <laughs> Dial 1-800-COLLECT. Save the people you call up to 44%. Imagine if every time you bought something with your American Express card, you helped feed someone who's hungry. With the charge against hunger, we can all do more. The most dangerous hitman in New York... Come on in, my brother. ...is a woman. We heard that you went on a little killing spree. She worked for the mob. You shouldn't play wise guy, because we'll be there when you make your next mistake. No. What is it you want? Your respect. She's after a piece of the action. Do I have your attention? New York Undercover, tonight on Nonstop Fox. Room 1203 wants to swim without floaties. Det tjener ikke stort, va? Åh! Da hjelper moren sin, da. Ja, men da skal han da få en fin gave av meg. Skate on State, tomorrow. And a celebrity movie review of Jingle All The Way. Deion Sanders continues double duty service for the Cowboys on defense. Yes, indeed, and on offense, he's got 36 catches on the season. Joining him in the secondary, though, Kevin Smith, currently leading the Cowboys with five picks. Daryl Green, 14 years with the Skins. He's still fast. He's got 43 career interceptions. And Terry Allen, the leader in rushing the NFC, also the league's leading scorer with 17 touchdowns. Back with more. Athletes aren't superheroes. Athletes are humans who can make mistakes who can fail. The best simply have talent, the will to work, to get up again, and risk defeat. Because they love the game, and they believe they can win. It's good! I think I watch football a little differently than a lot of people. I see a player take a hit and stay in the game. I think, yeah, we help people stay in the game, too, when they get rocked by something unexpected, an illness, an injury. By filling the gaps their other insurance doesn't cover, Aflac can help keep things going. Pretty solid defense. Yes, the Aflac trivia questions? Sorry, I don't write them, and I hardly get them either. Dad, I want a pager. A Motorola? Really? What's in it for me? Dad, you want me? If I'm ever late, page me. See, we can make this connection. You know? I mean, I'm never gonna take it to school. I'll respond like that, and Dad, your pages come first. You would do that for me? <sighs> would you do something else for me? Shave. Motorola pagers to know now. Put on a clean shirt. Motorola, what you never thought possible. <laughs> Oh, 
Joy is not like a pie. The more you share it, the bigger it gets. Work, the feel of cotton, the fabric of our life. This is cotton. Macaulay Culkin. Yes! Joe Pesci. He's back! And Daniel Stern star. Uh-oh. In Home Alone 2. Presented by Sears Family Theater, December 8th. Coming up this Sunday, you'll be treated to one of these games, Chicago at Green Bay, Lambeau Field, or later, some of you will see the Rams taking on Bradshaw's Saints down in Nolens. As we come back inside for final thoughts, we start first with, I guess he's still my friend, Ronnie Lott. Hey, well, I'm going to tell you, JB. <laughs> Today, Darren Woodson has to have a big game. He's got to stop Jamie Asher. He's also got to help in the run. Fred Strickland, who had a great game last week, I think it was 20 tackles last week, he has to step up and stop Terry Allen. Who can run the ball today? That's the big key. Who will run the ball? Who will turn the ball over? Dallas has been ineffective on third down because of their inability to run the ball on first down. Yeah, the Redskins have won the last two meetings last year, but this game is a game that could be won in the fourth quarter. If it is, who scores in the fourth quarter? The Cowboys don't. Only six touchdowns all year. I think the Redskins take it. All right. Coming up next, of course, it'll be Washington and Dallas at Irving Stadium. Hey, look, Irving, Texas Stadium, who's smaller? <laughs> I am than him. Thank you very much. We'll see you back at halftime. Not after tonight. <laughs> oh. Fox, home of Super Bowl 31.